Hello students, welcome to today's session. Here we are going to learn about induction and augmentation of labor. Coming to maternal indications. Hypertensive disorder, where she is having eclampsia. Now you want to terminate pregnancy, it is not good for her to continue. Coming to contraindications. For you to remember, you can remember as power, passage and passenger. So the power, that means the uterus, okay? If there is a classical cesarean section or a hysterotomy, then you would not allow her to have vaginal delivery. You do not have to induce labor in that. As already told, you should always have a clear indication for induction of labor. So what are the methods for ripening the cervix or induction of labor? Pharmacological methods, non-pharmacological methods and mechanical methods. It sensitizes the myometrium for oxytocin which we also give and body also is producing. So what are the side effects or complications of oxytocin infusion? You can have hyperstimulation like this you can see they are very thin. You will fix around 2 to 3 and tie them and put it in the cervix. They absorb the water and become thick and mechanically stretch the cervix. So before concluding, let us see if you can answer this. Modify Bishop's score for assessing cervical ripening. Includes all of them except cervical length? Yes. I hope you understood this class on induction of labor and you will be able to answer in your exams and do it practically in your labor room. Thank you.